is something you won't see in the world market because the oil companies, of course, don't want this on the market. It's just a wooden frame. It's got a auto switch on it right here, an automobile switch, which... I'm going to get closer. Okay, turns it off and on. I put a cover over it, a jar, to protect it. Now, it's compressed. The material in this is made of... One rod is made of 73 different elements. The other side is made of 74 elements. There's one additional element, and that's why one is negative and one is positive. The one builds up electrons. The neutrinos that strike the Earth 24 hours a day and other things striking the Earth, the combination of them causes electrons to build up in one of these rods and it depletes them in the other side, much like a solar panel works, very much like a solar panel. But a solar panel needs light 24 hours a day if you're going to use it 24 hours. Otherwise, it only works when the sun comes out. Now, this here, as you can see, very, very light, very light, mm -hmm. has practically no weight to it. But there's, there's plenty of energy there. Now, as I run this up the rod, you can see. Let me get a little closer there. Okay. These are Christmas tree lights. 110 volt Christmas tree Let me lights. get a good close up of those lights. Let's see those lights again. Okay. All they are is what? The Just regular Christmas tree lights. Yeah, but hold it out of your hand so I can yeah. see it a little bit better. The, okay. the light bulb. Someone has said light bulb. Okay. Without them being lit. Oh, without them being lit. Yeah. Okay. Just hold them there for a second. And all they are is grouped together and a little tape holes in the ends on Yeah, right? they're just grouped together here. There's three of them together. Okay, so now what you're doing the is just... The purposes of something bright so people can see. So you put one wire on one rod and one on the other. Is one that on correct? the other. Okay. Just like negative and positive. Now turn the rod sideways so we can see them individually. Okay. There we go. Uh -huh. Now, it's not a battery because you cannot light these with battery. Now... Okay. And to show it's not a battery, anywhere you move it up and down the rod, the lights work. See? See, anywhere. Down here. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. The same. Anywhere you want to, to put them, they work. So this is a 25-watt ball. One time, it's 110 and 25 watts. Now, let's see what happens when we put that on. Yeah. Now, of course, it won't be as bright because it, uh, this takes a lot of amperage, you know, and the wattage. This here, the watts on this thing here is only about, uh, right now, about 18 watts only, and this is 25 watts. Now, do the rods get hot? Uh, no, the rods don't get hot. The light bulb is just hot. Yeah, because it's... Uh, yeah, it, it gets hot. Okay. Of course, you can't see the heat there, but now, you're, I'll give you a good shot of the, of the, uh, of the light there. Okay. Yeah, got it. Now you need a very big battery to do that. If you want to do that with a battery, uh -huh. you know that's to show there's no power here, as far as uh, storage power. It stores a certain amount of electrons because it builds up. Mm -hmm. Now let's cover them. We're going to cover them up. So now no no, no light can get to them. So that we can show they're not like a solar panel. Now let's turn the switch on. So the power is now going from the bottom terminals through the switch here to the top here. Right, okay. Now we use these two terminals on here because sometimes at the cave site we used to use this to charge the big battery. Uh -huh. See? So that's why we put those terminals on there. Now let's black it out. See if we can still light it. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? You don't need light. So we're not getting it from the fluorescent lights here. We're not getting the power from the fluorescent lights. Right. Now the this is this kind of electricity is very much like lightning. You know how devastating lightning can be. Mm -hmm. Lightning is because the earth is negative and the atmosphere is positive. And when lightning strikes, 